Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the whole members of the elect. This is just a quick lesson. Uh, you know, I live in uh, Toronto. There's a lot of judgments that's happening. You know, right before this uh, Christmas, so-called Christmas or Yule. You know, which is a, a, a deity that requires a lot of blood. All right, it's a Norse Norse god, all right? and uh, you know, it requires a lot of blood, human sacrifice nights. All right, so um, it's kind of messed up uh, what happened, but it's the Yahweh, you know, and, um, you know, who controls these things. And uh, it's, it is what it is, right? Um, something could have happened because uh, they say that, let's read this. It says, a uh, horrible scene, six dead, including gunman after shooting inside the Vaughn condo. This is off of City News, Toronto. It says uh, six people are dead, including the 73-year-old suspect gunman after shooting inside a condominium in Vaughan uh, Sunday evening. All right. So, uh, you know, it's a 73-year-old, you know, who so-called so opened fire on five people. And... Um, you know maybe some deal or something right because uh you know um let's get that scripture and it says the love of many shall uh shall wax cold yeah let's get that scripture the love of many shall wax cold i think it's in uh the gospel the love Yeah, Matthew 24. Hmm, let's get that. Matthew 24, verse uh, 12. So, lucky. Okay. This is uh, Matthew 24, verse uh, 12. And because of iniquity, you know, like this is written, you know, by the Lord, you know, read. And because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he shall that, you know, so they know, like, this is what's going on, man. You know, a lot of, uh, you know, there's no uh, love, there's no command, there's no, uh, there's no fellowship, you know, and, uh, you know, right now, uh, things are happening, you know, out, out here, man. So we got to uh, be aware, you know, of our surroundings and because a lot of things is happening, man. And uh, ultimately, it's the Heavenly Father, you know, who controls these, who, like, who controls this, man. This is, uh... First Samuel 2 and uh, 6 It said the Lord killeth Alright so the Lord's the one who kills Alright The Heavenly Father The Lord of hosts He's the one who Who brings these judgments to pass Upon the world man. And he maketh alive He bringeth down to the grave And bringeth up The Lord maketh poor And maketh rich He bringeth down He bringeth He bringeth low And lifteth up all right, so uh, let's uh, get this other scripture as well, because it's a lot of judgment, man. Um, I'm gonna just play a quick uh, video. This is just uh, educate. So actually, you guys could uh, I share the link because it's a lot of things what's going on, man. And uh, you know this, you know like that's why you're not supposed to be celebrating this shit, man. This hollow. Um, this Christmas, you know, all right, which is you know because what they're what they're doing, you know, like this is a cult worship all right, and wickedness. This is a uh, Jeremiah, I think, uh, eleven. Let's 
Let's get that. Just flowing in the spirit where the spirit's gonna lead. It says to that be not dismayed at the sign of the heathen. You cut off a tree. Let's get that cut. This is uh, Jeremiah 10 and verse 1, the apostle, the, um, you know, that the prophet Jeremiah. Hear ye, it's the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the sign of heaven. Alright, so we're not supposed to be, you know, like worshiping these, uh, these uh, you know, the sun, moon, you know, stars. You know, and uh, and you're reverencing, you know, that these things, but you're not reverencing the heavenly Father, right? And uh, you know, worshiping, you know, these different so-called uh, holidays, which is just pagan worship, right? And uh, whether it's uh, you know, this Christmas now, right? Because ultimately, you know. Um, the, you know like that whole thing is you know like it you know like it goes back to Babylonian worship all right which was uh, you know Nimrod and uh, on like Ceramicis and Tammuz all right and that's basically you know like what it is all right and uh, basically uh, like that tree it represents the tree that of, of Nimrod you know you know, or um, you know where his rod was cut off. But it's like some, you know, this is what they do. You know, but uh, says uh, says for the customs of the heathen are vain. It says for one cut off a tree out of the forest, that like it says the works of the hand of the workmanship of the workman with an axe. Right. So we're not supposed to be you know cutting a tree and putting it in our house. And then, um, I'm like, you know that, you know, when you, for the Christmas, I remember when I was a young, you know, and like, they're always, uh, you know, you're always hearing those Christmas carols, deck the halls, you know, and uh, it's the season to be jolly, Yule and something like, you know, like, it, it's just a pagan worship, man. We're not supposed to be, you know, be like, not worshiping these things. It said they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with the hammer that is moved on it. They move. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak if not. They. It says they must need like, to be born because ye cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is the is it that do good there right? so we're not supposed to be you know like worshiping these things man all right so it's pagan worship man so let's uh i share this link but uh says uh occult holidays and sabbaths you know because this is just uh you know occult worship man all right it says it says thus saith they literally ordered their lives by a cult like numerology all right you know because this is what these people are into you know the whole like numerology like the german tree and all that shit man this is what they worship um says the number seven is representing it says the number of a, like like of divine of di like divine perfection which means completion right it said thus as a person a person climate it said that Jacob's ladder is a towards self 
that perfection in the realm of the occult is the number 13 it represents the state of like divine perfection and illumination right so you know so there's things you know on the right hand side and on the left right and we're you know on the right hand side of the heavenly father you know e you know like they're in, you know like they're on the left you know like these other nations these two thirds all right it says thus it says the occult calendar is like is this compromise stock i'm gonna have to get in some water stock it but It said, it said thus, it says the occult, occult calendar is like it's comprised of four periods of uh, like of 13 weeks, right? So for right, right now from um, from this whole uh, on that Christmas, you know, which is going to be then 25th and um, going into the New Year's and after, there's going to be a lot of blood. You know like that's gonna be sp uh, shed, man. So uh, we gotta uh, be aware, circumspect. You know, be aware of your surroundings. You know, it says winter solstice. It says 13 weeks. It says minor sabbaths. It says December, like the 21st, is Yule, right? Let's see what Yule, the deity. Right, because it's basically you know like that's what our people was doing um when you watch show about the vikings and all that you know on netflix you know like that was our you know our people was doing that man yo god yo it's a set it says you festivity you know like this is what it is all right you know that the uh, you know like the amalekites you know like they're doing like the hanukkah you know right now all right you know but a lot of them they're doing the uh, the talmud you know because basically you know like that's what they worship like the talmud all right you know like they don't deal with the new testament and they and uh and that talmud has all kind of uh, wicked, uh, you know, sayings. It says uh, Yule is a like is the festival historical ordained by the German people. Um, scholars have that connected the origin on uh, that celebration Yule that to the wild hunt, the god, the god Odin, right, and 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 the, and the wild hunt. Hunted, you know, that was, you know, that was Nimrod, you know, because all these worships, it goes back, you know, to, uh, you know, like to the Kush, you know, to Nimrod. It says, uh, the pagan Anglo Saxon, you know, uh, I can't pronounce anything, modern, like modernant, right, because, uh, you know, like you know, because this is what our people was doing. You know, when we're in power. You know, because Anglo it means uh, angel, and then Saxon, you know, Isaac. So the angelic, you know, sons of Isaac. All right. And it says Mother's Night. Um. Some. It says some present day. You know, it's some. It says um. Some present day um, Christians. This is Slakia. Some some present day Christian um, customs, like and tradition, such as Yule log, Yule goat, all right, the goat god, the boar, these with these uh, swine, the Yule singing, deck the house, you know, it's the season to be jolly, and then it says Yule you know in those lyrics and others may have connect 
have connected to old pagan Yule traditions. Alright. So what these people worship, man. It says, uh, this is uh, for the occult holidays and Sabbath, you know. And uh, we, you know, the brothers, you know, who, uh, who started, who, uh, you know, that when we started, you know, doing our research and, you know, like, I have a whole bunch of these uh, books, man, that I printed and I have. So uh, this uh, has uh, a lot of information, man. You know, um, it says this. It says December twenty first, like to the twenty second. It says the winter solstice, Yule, one of the Illuminati's human sacrifice nights. Right. So, uh, you know that like we don't know what really happened. Um, you know, at that condo, right? And that happened, I believe, uh, a year or two ago, man. Uh, I like another one. There's a, a a condo uh, party or something. Some uh, some Jake, you know, they all ended up dying, man. So uh, you know, and it was around this time as well. You know, I think like four people died. You know, here in uh, the condo party. You know, in Toronto. You know, and they're young young Jakes. All right, they ended up shooting at each other or something, and they all ended up dead. It says, uh, it says February the first, and uh, and the second. It says the candleman and im and uh, it says the candle mass and the uh, imglug, aka the Groundhog Day, one of the Illuminati's human sacrifice nights, right? So this is during the time. Okay, like this is February the first. You know, like this is before the whole uh, spring. You know, so uh, then it says like February the 14th, Valentine's Day, right? With the so called Cupid, you know, which is, uh, you know, that's a whole different thing, but uh, you know, these are things what these people practice, man, you know, and um, you know, like they have their Sabbaths, you know, and uh, you know, and this is what they do, you know. Everything what we do on the right, right, right hand side, you know, by following the new moon, you know, you know, the Sabbath according to the new moon, right? You know, like not according to Friday, you know, to Saturday, you know, um, you know, like we go according, you know, like to the new moon, right? Right now, our new moon is, uh, is right now, um, uh, on the 14th, I think. On the 23rd, it's going to be the new moon of December, right? So, uh, you know, so we're, you know, so we got to uh, um, keep our eyes uh, sing single, you know, because uh, there's a lot of stuff happening, man. So we got to brace ourselves. Um, you guys could share Horrific news from Vaughn. Five people killed. The suspected gunman also dead in a mass shooting last night at a condo building. That's where our Faiza Amin is joining us live from with reaction. From yeah, so that's what happened. So uh, I could share the link. I'm not going to go into it. But uh, a lot of things happening, man. So we got to brace ourselves. You know, uh, you know, this is, you know, that 2023 is going to be a lot. A lot of things happening, man. So we gotta gird up our loins, man, and uh, watch, right? Watch as well as pray. So with that, let's uh, praise the do unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahshua, Shalom.